Hey guys, this is probably the most random video that I thought about recording, but it's one that I thought I would do because when I used to clean houses, I used to clean houses professionally, and when I first started cleaning, I really didn't know how to properly clean a toilet, so I was looking at videos on YouTube, and um, I finally found a way that works. So if you're interested in how to learn how to clean a toilet, or at least how I did it when I cleaned houses professionally, then just keep on watching. But this is how I do it. Um, so first I clean the toilet bowl. So I just sprayed a little bit of that. I already did this, but I thought I'd it again just for the video and then you want to clean the bowl um, also if it's dirty like up here when if there's pee or whatever you also want to scrub it down with the same brush that's fine and then just flush it and then you want to spray it down with this is what I'm using just for this video Jerry Watkins all-purpose cleaner I use I usually use method but this is what I have on hand. So it's a multi-purpose spray. There's also bathroom sprays that you can use. Anything that will work on a toilet. So just give it a good spray. Lift up the seat. Spray the top. Spray the seat. Spray under the seat. Spray this bottom. Even the bottom of the toilet. And what I use to clean the toilet are napkins. So... I already um, tore up a bunch of little pieces, I don't know, there's like 15 pieces, and yes, you will use this many. I find that using napkins is more sanitary than like trying to use a fiber mic microfiber cloth, because this, I feel like, just smears all the dirt around, and this will really absorb it and get rid of it. So I usually start at the top and then work my way into the inside, because if you clean the inside and then start cleaning the outside like you're spreading all the germs. Does that make sense? So start at the top and I usually just use one or two napkins per um, like part of the toilet. So for like this top, I'll use one, throw it away. And then you work your way down. So you clean the back part of the toilet. Make sure you get the knob. And then throw it away. And then you clean the top of the seat. And then I also clean back here with this napkin. And then you also want to make sure you get it all. So just use as many napkins as you need. Use them. Um, don't be afraid to use a lot of napkins. Okay, and then once you clean the back and the top of the seat, and we're gonna work our way in. So then you lift up the top, and then you clean the top of the seat. And then again, throw that away. Clean the top of the seat, or the actual seat. Away, lift it up, clean it here. You can use gloves if you're really germophobic, I guess, <laughs> but uh, whatever, just wash your hands afterwards. Throw that away, and then you want to clean this part here. So the back should have already been cleaned when you did the top of the seat, so you just have to worry about doing this part now. And then people always forget the sides of the toilet, but don't forget to get the sides. And then you start at the top and go down, and then get the inside of here too. So you see the napkins really trap all that 
dirt and dust. Can't even see what I'm doing. But you want to make sure you get the bottom down here too. Of course, on both sides. And then another step that a lot of people forget, and you want to do it while you're down here, is cleaning the baseboards because baseboards get dusty and dirty too, you know. So while you're down here, just spray the baseboard, wipe it down, and then also just clean up that back floor. It gets super dirty back here. Okay, so I just did one side. I'm gonna go ahead and do this other side off camera. But look at how clean and shiny your toilet ends up. And then you just wanna flush it. So it's nice and clean, nice and sanitary. And then at this point, if you want, you can wipe it down with some Clorox wipes or whatever if you wanted to disinfect. So that's how I clean my toilet. I just cleaned my shower. Um, and to clean my shower, I use this. This is really good. It's soft scrub from Lysol, I believe. Or, no, it's soft scrub. Um, and then I just use a one of these blue um, sponges. It gets rid of everything. Alright, thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.